It is not a good day for Ariana Grande. Although she is a legally single woman and her divorce has gone through, she has to get out her wallet because she's got to pay off her ex-husband over a million dollars after their messy split. Keep in mind, she just accused him of cheating on her last week in her album in her own bed, and now she has to pay him over a million dollars. So let's get into it. Ariana Grande has finally gotten what she wanted because she and her ex-husband Dalton Gomez are officially divorced. If you guys have been following this story, it has been like a soap opera because we've got two couples here who have completely fallen apart and then we've got Ariana Grande and Ethan Slater who have come out on the other side. Now we really haven't heard from Dalton Gomez partially because he's got like an NDA, he cannot talk about his relationship with Ariana Grande. so. I mean, honestly, I don't even think he would want to if he could. I mean, the way that everything went down, it wasn't pretty. Real quick, for those of you who may have forgotten, Ariana Grande was married for two years to this man, Dalton Gomez. And up until this point, we haven't had too many details as to why these two ended up going their separate ways. Ariana Grande and Dalton Gomez are officially divorced, something a judge just signed off on this week. On Tuesday today, the pop star's marriage to Dalton came to an end in the books, with their previously agreed to settlement taking effect and also making them unattached legally, ending their nearly three-year marriage according to legal docs. A source claims there wasn't much they needed to do other than wait for this one. It had already been signed, sealed, and delivered for a while. The wheels of bureaucracy just had to take effect. I mean, I think we could all acknowledge that this divorce did happen pretty quickly. We see some divorce settlements take years. I mean, this was what, less than six months? As we reported, Ariana filed to dissolve their marriage in September 2023 after the former couple separated eight months earlier. About a month later, she and Dalton had settled up one of the fastest celebrity divorces on record. And part of that is because they did have a prenup. They don't have any children, so they really were in a good place to just kind of call it quits. TMZ dropped the atomic bomb today that said divorce babes, divorce. They were married for two years and together for 3.5 years. I wasn't sure if TMZ had it right, but then E! News confirmed it and they take their time. They're very reputable. Well, it looks like Ariana Grande is going to have to get her checkbook out because she has to pay her ex-husband $1.25 million, which seems a little unfair for them being together for what like you know not even three years she also threw him an extra twenty five thousand dollars for his legal fees because she doesn't really need the money ariana says that all of her earnings during the marriage are considered her separate property totally normal when two high net worth individuals get married is to keep their complicated financial lives separate other surprising piece is that they have a prenup in place but didn't address alimony a prenup can determine property division and spousal support while it can't address custody or child support they don't have kids and the marriage only last two years so a solid prenup would have made it so that this case would have never gotten to court filings i don't love divorce i don't like to see couples splitting up you guys know i am a hopeless romantic i just want everyone to be together and to be happy you may recall ariana grande hooked up with dalton during covid in 2020 and at first everything was going swimmingly but once the covid restrictions were lifted their relationship quickly went downhill as dalton an la realtor was taken back by ariana's celebrity and other lifestyle changes Plus, she got busy again because she is an A-lister, and once, you know, Hollywood reopened, it was time for Ariana to go back to work. So this relationship they've built in their home just couldn't really handle the real world effects. Even though $1.25 million is jump change to Ariana Grande, people are surprised. This person wrote, didn't he cheat? How in the hell does he get alimony? Am I crazy? Dalton has his own net worth of $20 million. So to be honest, if I was him, I, I mean, do you even really want this money from your ex? It kind of seems like a weak move. He doesn't need it. So why just, you know, let her go on and do her own thing? He comes from a very wealthy family. So he's worth 20 million but he, trust me he's got a lot more on the back end ariana cut dalton a check and according to the settlement dalton will receive 1.25 million tax free dalton will be getting the money up front so there will be no spousal support it seems like Ariana has slightly broken her agreement with Dalton that they won't speak about each other because she has spoken about him. She has in her new album. She has in interviews. In one interview, she gets emotional talking about a conversation she had with her family when they were, you know, you know, helping her realize that this relationship she had with Dalton was not right. I don't know what, you know, what was so wrong about it. We at least know that he was supposedly unfaithful, but there could have been a lot more. 
And I think um, my mom is a fierce example of not doing that. And um, a massive thing that I learned in my year of Saturn return <laughs> is um, that my fears of replicating a certain cycle was actually the opposite. I was like, oh, wow. I want to be so much more like her than I am. I want to have the strength to say bye kindly when something isn't f***ing right. It's as simple as that. Now, Ariana revealed that Dalton had cheated on her in one of her songs titled Eternal Sunshine, and that got the internet angry. I mean, I made a video about it and you guys were shook and she had to put out a statement so that Dalton wasn't going to get attacked by these fans, the Arianators. In one of her verses, she says, I've never seen someone lie like you do. She goes on to sing so much, even you start to think it's true. She talks about someone else being in their bed and laying their head on his chest. Down below, you can see she mentions being played and how now she's finally found a good boy to be by her side, which I guess we can assume that good boy is her new boyfriend, Ethan Slater, which is some tea, because obviously this entire time, we've all been thinking that Ariana was the one who was unfaithful. Ariana posted a very clear demand on Saturday, telling fans, I just wanted to say to anyone that is sending hateful messages to the people in my life based on your interpretation of this album is not supporting me and is absolutely doing the polar opposite of what I would ever encourage and is also entirely misinterpreting the intention behind the music. I ask you, please do not, which that was a long winded sentence. I think I had to take like two breaths just to get that one out. Remember her song lyrics include, I've never seen someone lie like you do, so much even you start to think it's true. So now we play our separate scenes. Now, now she's in my bed, mm -hmm, laying on your chest. Now I'm in my head wondering how it ends. So, I mean, the lyrics are pretty intense. People are gonna react, Ariana, you know this. In her attempt to call off her fans once and for all, she added, it is not how to support me, it is the opposite. Although this album captures a lot of painful moments it also is woven together through a line of deep sincere love if you cannot hear that please listen more closely thank you interestingly that she didn't say that the song was about dalton and said her point seems to be whatever happened i'm cool with it now and you should be too this person commented a million dollar payout for two years of marriage is wild i don't understand why rich people even bother i would be forever single just with a boyfriend which that probably could be a good move for Ariana. I mean, I think single life is important. Another person commented, her net worth is worth $240 million. That is chump change for her. I doubt she cares. This person wrote, she should have to pay more for wasting his time. Another person wrote, he is getting justice for all the exes. This person wrote, she cheated on him with some leprechaun looking MF. Wow. And then finally, another comment, that's $50 to her. Hmm. What a thoughtful take. When it comes to Ariana's relationship with Dalton, her family was involved. I mean, you saw her explain how her mother kind of helped her realize what was going on there. But I wonder what they think about Ethan. They were so worried about Dalton and Ariana moving so fast with him that I think we can all agree that Ethan seems like, you know, they've moved on even faster than she did with Dalton. And Ariana's family wasn't sure about him if he was the one and thought their romance was moving way too fast and would ultimately be short-lived. TMZ, who broke this news, also said that Dalton couldn't handle life after COVID with Ariana because he didn't realize how famous she was and how much it would impact that. Like, bitch, your wedding was featured in Vogue. Oh, they don't just hand that out to any average bitch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sure Dalton is enjoying his paycheck today. Let's go ahead and look at this letter from Ashley Winter. You guys know I have a P.O. box. It's 944 Souter Village, uh, Unit 205. <laughs> I sometimes open, whenever you guys send me stuff, I open it on my channel. So let's go ahead and read this letter to you guys. Oh my gosh. I uh, Four Leaf Clover. I've never found a Four Leaf Clover before. Dear Sloan, my name is Ashley and I live in Indiana. I stumbled upon one of your videos about a year ago and I have been hooked since then. I really enjoy and appreciate the way that you cover each and every story. I don't own a business, but I do collect four leaf clovers. I know you have recently moved, so I thought it would be perfect time to send you some extra luck and happiness. Thank you for all the consistent, passionate content you put out with love, Ashley. Ashley, that is so sweet and get a good look. Get a good look at that four leaf clover. I know exactly what I want luck for too. So thank you.
I really enjoyed this letter and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So thank you so much, Ashley, and thank you guys. And I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye guys.